<laughs> but the temperatures are just still staying cooler than normal. Yeah, we've got team coverage tonight. Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Lisa Villegas and Fox 13's Aaron Mayofsky kicking off this coverage as we uh, prepare for the rest of the week. Aaron, how are things looking? We know big changes on the way. Yeah, for sure. That picture was so cool seeing all the sailboats out there in Lake Union. That's a camera off of our Fox 13 studios and we're looking really nice this evening. It looks pleasant out there. We're seeing some bright skies, but it is all changing and temperatures have just been struggling this spring to get up to near average. Average now is 67 degrees. We are at 59 for the metro area. Olympia hanging on to 61. We hit 61 today for the downtown area. A little cooler to the northwest Washington coast. We're seeing a little rain action there, and that, my friends, is going to pick up as we sneak into the overnight hours, into the early morning hours. So as the system moves through, we'll see light showers moving in, and then about 1 a.m. that starts knocking on our door. We get some heavy mountain snow up in the northern and central Cascades, and by the morning commute, we'll see temperatures right in the mid to upper 40s. That's almost near normal. And we start to see the back edge of this system, but this system's going to bring a lot. A winter weather advisory in the high country above 4,000 feet, especially to the northern tier of the Cascades, where Mount Baker could pick up nearly a foot of snow as we roll through. Again, this lasts pretty much all day. We could see gusty winds making poor visibilities. And as we look at the rest of the day in the lowlands, here's a look at Wednesday, 8 p.m. We start to dry out pretty nicely, but the winds are also going to be gusting in the north sound up to 55 miles an hour, 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. We'll see that for the northwest Washington coast. We're seeing, again, more gusty winds as well, up to 50 miles an hour. And our extended outlook, Lisa, looks like this. Cooler than average temperatures. I know you're tracking those. We're seeing 57 today, 57 on Thursday, Lisa. And then we start to climb up. So. Exactly. So that is the good news here, Aaron. So okay, Aaron talking about the cooler weather, the big changes, right? 57 degrees. But then that temperature really starts to shoot up by Saturday. 67 for that high on top of that snow level starting to rise as well. And this is what's taking place. Of course, this is the why behind, of course, the gusty winds like Aaron broke down, the widespread rain that we're going to briefly have tomorrow morning and that mountain snow this late in the season. This pattern just hasn't changed with this upper level low pressure system. But as it clears out, this is when we get ready for those changes. So with that big warm up, it's because of this guy right here. High pressure finally getting the strength to lift up towards the north. Again, it is going to take place with that nice little warm up. However, it is going to be short lived because behind it, we get ready for another low pressure system that just seems to be a little bit stronger, which is going to knock, of course, that pressure system down. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. I'm going to give you some time to absorb this tonight. 46 degrees tomorrow. We're expecting a high of around 57. Yes, it is going to be gusty. We're expecting that rain early tomorrow morning, and then we're going to start to see some clearing. So those showers in the in place here on Thursday, and that's going to be kind of on and off overall 57 degrees. Temperature still well below normal. Remember that normal temperature 60 seven degrees. So as we roll over into Friday, that's when we start to dry out. Temperatures slowly starting to warm up. We peak on Saturday as high pressure continues to build in. But as we take a look Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, that's when we get ready for the cloud cover to slowly start to build in. We'll have a few showers returning in the forecast as well. And then temperatures, they slowly start to return and retreat, if you will lower 60s, upper 50s by Monday and Tuesday and overnight lows. They are going to fluctuate, getting some improvement here by the end of the seven day forecast. But take a look at Thursday and Friday morning. Temperatures lower 40s, so it is going to be chilly by the time we wake up, which means a lot of us will also be in the 30s. And that is a look what we can expect.